Hello, welcome back to the Frayed Brush. I'm Big Aaron. <clears throat> we have a uh, first and forever attempt at something today. We're going to try some freehand. And I thought I was prepared, but I am not. So we will shoot it from the hip. Let's see what we got here. Uh, red. I thought I had a pencil. Apparently not, because who needs pencils, right? But see, ah, we're good. So we will instead use a. Uh, a Gundam marker here. Uh, yeah, I haven't done any Gundams on the channel yet. Yet, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, you, let me. So this is the Shield Maiden's shield. Okay, ignore that. That's just initial coats coming down. Um, if you notice, the black, all except for the middle here, is shiny. Um, that's because to get the paint not the paint, but to get a little bit better black coverage um, than what I was getting. And it turned out actually my paint was just kind of rubbing off if I would barely touch it. I went and I used some um, acrylic ink. Um, that's the reason it's shiny. Uh, let me see, I'll show you the, this is the cup. I mixed it in and that's dry. So it is real shiny. So once the uh, once we once we get finished with the shield, we'll definitely have to <clears throat> um, do throw some matte varnish on it. Uh, I'm sitting here looking. I have some some pictures off screen uh, on my tablet that I'm looking at just for uh, it's off screen because of uh, copyright stuff. Don't want to get hit with anything crazy, but I am using a reference picture and basically there's going to be a design that goes up that we're going to uh, attempt to emulate, not necessarily copy. So what we'll do and this, you have to, it's very straight. So let me change glasses. So what we'll do here is we're gonna to attempt to draw this in first. Um, and then we'll go over some different, there's got to be an easier way to do this. Hold on a second. Let's see what we can figure out here. Um, so we'll take the first one off this direction here. Um, I've never freehanded before. Never attempted it, so how this turns out will be a surprise to both of us. All right, so there's our first straight line. Um, and we wanna kinda keep the thickness of this black line over here the same thickness as this. So what we'll do, we'll come here and draw that across. Okay, not bad actually, I like that. Okay, so now what we have to do is, my painting desk is a disaster in the middle of a project, so. Now we need to try to make it match. Without, hey, that might work a little bit better. Yeah, we'll try that. So, okay, so we got a little bit off right there. That's okay. We can go back in and, and cover that up. What is this? Okay, this is just color reference for me. So now, And 
try to make it match this other side. That way, no, I was getting it away. Let me shrink that in a little bit. <clears throat> Um, all right, I think that might work. So let's do this. Okay. Um, I think those are, those are pretty good actually. Um, wunderbar. So, all right, now there are others that come off of this that match Let's scoot up a little bit closer like I said I wish I wish y'all could see the, the picture I'm going off of but you know I don't want to I don't want to get hit with something something crazy so let's try to do this a little bit different way since there's a lot more area to hold Man, this is, I'll tell you what, I couldn't have picked a crazier thing to try to. Normally, I wanted to do this in pencil, like I said, but, okay. All right, so we got three of the four done. So now we're gonna try to do this this way and see if we can get them to line up. Hopefully so, cause I think we're just gonna take this in the, as a one shot deal. All right. So let's, there are some little things that are protruding from the top of the shield. Um, so let's do that. Not bad. Let's see if we can solidify that line a little bit, just have something better to go off of. Um, the little outside of the lines, we could we can touch that up. Um, so now, try to get the other one. Um, let's try this. All right, I get it that far. Uh, doesn't look like they'll be exact, but I mean. This is back in Viking times, so yeah, that'd be good enough. So there's our design. Not bad. I like it. Let's go with it. Using a few different paints today. Uh, the I had a base coat down there on the shield of Reaper uh, light blue. Wasn't quite the blue I was going for. I wanted more of a turquoisey aqua. Uh, so then I looked at the Grindelo blue from Reaper. Wasn't quite right. Then I found the old Monument Pro Acryl Turquoise. If I'm looking for a turquoise, it made sense to grab a turquoise. So that Monument Pro Acryl Turquoise is actually this one right there. Okay. So <clears throat> we're going to need to get some black laid down. Uh, we're going to do... We're gonna get the design painted in black. It's a very, very simple freehand. However, you know, like I said at the beginning, it is my first attempt at freehand. So, so far, not too bad. So we'll get in, we'll paint the black, and then we're gonna go back in over it again with the turquoise to kind of sharpen our lines. And then we'll distress the, the front of the shield. Not sure if we'll get to that today. Uh, that might be one of the um, you know, at a later time, it'll just be done on the video type things. <clears throat> so this is coal black. This is also by Monument Pro Acryl. Um, I had ordered their whole first set of paints and then I don't even really remember 
what the the bottles were. Anyway, so when they released their uh, new line with new bottles, I picked up some of the new bottles to transfer the older line of paints into. Um, I'll put a link to their uh, paint line in the description below. Really great people there, always great service, never complain, fast, friendly, quick to respond on Discord, all kinds of stuff. So I'll put a link to them down in the description below. Um, so let's get some painting. We're going to need um, a really fine brush. We'll use our uh, Da Vinci Maestro Series 10 size one. Um, and then we'll uh, get everything prepped. Um, really kind of digging these uh, Monument Pro Acryl paints. Uh, haven't up until this point the only one I'd really used was I used this that's what's on the back of the shield by the way the dark umber used their mahogany for some airbrushing stuff um, really good decided to break them out uh, for the, oh you see that look at that see how that paint is just coming off there even with the ink over it so what that means is what we'll do when we get these black lines painted um, We'll go ahead and touch up the rim and anywhere else the black is rubbing off. Then what I'll have to do is I'll shoot it with a coat of matte varnish to protect that uh, most exposed layer of paint. Um, that'll be done off video because I don't have my airbrush really set up right now. So let's uh, get this mixed up here real good. Again, this is the... Uh, Monument Pro Acryl Coal Black. Um, for them, for base coats like this, I usually, I think I did five drops of paint to uh, two drops of water. Um, as, you, as you start experimenting with uh, more and more paint lines, you will find out that they have to be mixed to different consistencies. Um, so let's see if we can go ahead and get this without messing it up I'll just get these first coats put down so we can see if the freehand is a success I really like this black really really uh, I'm using really, really, really small brush strokes. Can you see that? Okay. I'm using really, really small brush strokes to uh, get these lined out first. <clears throat> you can see how matte that is. That dries <sighs> great matte. I don't know. There we go. Yeah, look how matte that's drying. That's great. So the centerpiece here was done with the Pro Acryl Black. And then the shiny parts, like I said, are what I went back over with the ink. Um, no, I love the love the mat on the uh I love the mat that the Pro Acryls dry to. And just you want to use real real small strokes with the paintbrush to uh, get right up against that line and kind of give yourself an edge to work against. Uh, one thing you do want to be careful of is that the the paint you're you're using to to fill in uh, freehand work like this where you don't have an edge, you just have a line um, that you've drawn on is you don't, well, okay, I, rephrase that, I don't want the paint too thin because I don't want it to just go anywhere. So now that we've got our edges done, we can work a little bit more freely, I guess. Um, Then remember, if you have to get back up against that edge again, 
Remember, just be careful. So there we go. First one's done. Looks pretty damn good. I like it. So we'll get this other one knocked out real quick. Remember, baby steps with the brush. Don't get all crazy. Brace your hand. Right up against that edge. If you get too much paint on your brush, just kind of clean it off there in the area you're going to be painting. Um, paint's thin enough that it's not going to be, it's still going to lay smooth minus the uh, texture of the shield that will prevent it from laying smooth. I wish you could see how, how much I'm like holding my breath and doing this. It's kind of like uh, back in military training when you go to shoot your weapon, you know, they teach you, you know, exhale and hold your breath to maintain a good sight picture while you're uh, engaging the target. And it seems like exhaling and holding your breath is uh, equally as effective and handling a paintbrush. So, I don't know if that means that military techniques transfer to everything or if a paintbrush is a weapon. Leave a comment down below to let me know where you stand on that. What are your thoughts? Hope you're uh, enjoying the video so far. If you are, uh, be sure and throw out uh, like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. I would like to take this opportunity to go ahead and thank all of my uh, subscribers that I've had for forever um, since first few days. Uh, my first video was put out on December 25th, 2020. Um, I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers that were there on day one and every subscriber since then. It really means a lot. Um, I appreciate it. Still working towards that uh, first goal of 100 subscribers. It's that first, uh, first milestone. Real quick on this, okay? Let me tell you something. So when you're doing lines like this, okay, Pay, pay attention to what you're doing, okay? So it's real easy to get lines confused, right? On um, what, what you're painting, what needs to be painted, what doesn't need to be painted. Be sure you're painting inside the lines you need to paint because I'm sitting here painting in between these lines, okay? If, if I hadn't paid attention, I would have been over here painting and then it would have been like, what the hell's going on? There shouldn't be two black stripes next to each other and it would have just been wrecked. So watch what you're doing. And then these are these are a lot a uh, lot longer. Also, key to drawing a straight line, painting a straight line. Okay, don't let me see how can I do this. Don't don't do this. Okay, that's not a straight line. What you want to do, you want to move the whole thing, just like that, like that right there. All the whole the whole thing. Lock that wrist in and move the whole thing. Don't do this. Don't do this, that's bad. This is bad, this is good. All right. <clears throat> a little bit of a little bit of knowledge there for y'all. Y'all thought Big Aaron was just up here not knowing how to paint. I do know things. Again, just to reiterate, if I'm not talking, it's because I'm holding my breath because I'm trying to stay inside the line. So bear with me.
Okay, now in that instance, to get that straight line, I was actually holding my brush still and moving the shield like that. And that's what gave me that straight line. And I must say, I'm pretty pleased with it. Let's get this colored in. Like I said, I won't bore you all with, you know, making sure everything's covered and all that kind of jazz. So... Now we got those lines in. We just go crazy. Just go crazy. Filling them in. Filling them in. If you get over a little bit, that's cool. That's cool. We can go back in and hit it with the hit it with the uh, the turquoise. Last one. I like started this end. Let's get this knocked out. Tell you what, this is a good extra slot for building brush control. I know that much. I love much. Let's get that off there. All right, let's get this colored in so we can get right up against that edge. Oh, got almost a little crazy on that one. Reel it back in. Let's go ahead and smooth some of that a little bit. That is a little thick. All right. Here we go. All right, so hey, there it is. All right, I am extremely pleased with that. All right, uh, so first time ever doing freehand, I think I did pretty good for freehanding the lines. Well, I didn't freehand the lines, I used a note card, okay. But freehanding the width, placement, uh, guesstimating it, eyeballing it, whatever you wanna call it. Um, remember, if you wanna do those straight lines, move, lock it in, lock it in. Lock it in. None of this, none of this crazy stuff. Lock it in. All right. That'll get you those crisp straight lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. I'll go back in, color in that black some more. Uh go ahead and touch up, clean up those lines a little bit, and uh go ahead and distress it. And next time you see the shield, it will be done. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, throw me a comment in the comment section down below. Hope everybody has a great day. And remember, if anybody asks you, Big Aaron sent you.